we launched here uh, two years after the Kirribilli business um, had opened. Crow's Nest has a large number of restaurants, over 150, between here and St. Leonard's. It was probably 20 or more years ago when North Sydney Council introduced pavement dining. So that was a first. It's, it's, it's a kind of a village atmosphere, you know, we're strolling down through the um, Willoughby Road. A good wide choice of, of, of restaurants to choose from. Here at Crow's Nest, we introduced cameras into our kitchen. It, it was uh, a new phenomenon because uh, no one else was really doing that 10 years ago. So much so that Channel 7 News did a story about us and our TV cameras. It's a novel, a novel addition to uh, what we do here. We also developed our own software package called School of Fish. Every day the managers can put onto the plasma TV screens the fish that we're serving, where it was caught, the textures and the taste of the fish. We're trying to educate and inform our customers a bit more about the kind of fish that we're serving to them. With, the, with people having um, more and more tablets and devices and doing business more and more outside of the office, restaurants are becoming a good place for businessmen to meet and discuss business and often they need to have those, the information at hand. So the um, hosp hospitality hotspot that the association is promoting is something that we wish to get out more and more to our members. So yeah, it's, it's, it's happening. Yeah, if I take a picture of Mark's curry and say, uh, you know, chefs, what do you, what do you reckon? Should we put this on our menu? Well, we'll have to have a look. It's a Thai jungle fish curry, yes. Down at Garfish Crow's Nest, we've got a jungle curry on just now. And today we're using a boar fish, which is a bottom dweller. You have to be very careful of the boar fish as well, because the spikes are actually venomous. And it's very succulent, very sweet, and marries through the uh, jungle curry flavour quite well. We will actually start off with a few raw ingredients of galango, which is an Asian ginger garlic, eschalot, kipple of lime, green chilies and bird's eye. We uh, chop these up, blend them through with some olive oil and some other spices which gives us this paste and end off, we sweat it off with some fish sauce, water, lime juice, palm sugar which is all used as a seasoning and the end product is this nice very fragrant curry. It's the only one curry throughout Asia that doesn't have any coconut milk in it and that's because it's the northern territory of Thailand and round about that region they have no coconuts. We have some baby corn, some snake beans, which are very long black end tips. We cut them down just to fit into the dishes. We also like to finish off with some Thai basil, Vietnamese mint, crispy eschalots, and some grated coconut, which has just been toasted to give that nice little sweet flavor at the end. So to bring the jungle curry together, we actually just reheat some of the curry sauce that we pre-made in a small saucepan. Lay that on the gas just to bring up the temperature. We then just seal off our boar fish on a very hot grill, about one minute on either side, just to give it a nice little bit of color. And with this being a really thin, flat fish as well, it doesn't take long to cook through. So also with our curry sauce, we just add the other elements of the baby corn and the snake bean. So we only cook this fish on the one side, just to give it a nice golden caramelization. We just quickly seal it and then finish it in the jungle curry sauce. Just place a small lid on the jungle curry just to help cook that fish quite quick. We just get onto the plating. This is when we get our rice together, which for this dish we've got a saffron coconut rice. And we also serve it with a ginger chutney. 